I'm just going to go and meet Falcon, a land manager, who's a deer stalker here, but manages these hills with carbon in mind. Tell me what happened in August in 2019. Well, in about an hour to two hours of rainfall, a big thunder dump and very little wind, there was a focused downpour of rain in the Glenfallock area. And I mean, we've seen the highest levels of water ever recorded from two hours worth of rain and we are pretty wet in this place, so we're used to a lot of water and just devastated down the river stem, wrecked bridges, flooded houses, just a, a catastrophic event. The shed basically was just out the back door of the house, came out to the top of the ditch, and then right across to the the gorge that's been formed by the flooding in here. So a sizeable structure that was completely washed, washed away and washed up against the back of the house. And the water was running in the front back door and coming out the front door. That's just, just scary, the explosion of that. But this happening, it's focused the mind to see what we can do to, to play our part in the, in the role of fighting climate change. Now, peat restoration soaks up the water and it releases the, the water slowly instead of running straight off the hill as soon as the water hits it when the hill's wet. So obviously if there's water on top of the, the peat, it stops the carbon escaping as well. Carbon sequestration wasn't in my vocabulary until the last few years right enough. So, and then obviously the more we do, the more we understand it and we realise how important it is to be doing this sort of thing. So what they do is come in and they reprofile the peat hags and so they lessen the gradient so the water runs off slower so it doesn't have a negative effect. It's really good peat bog. You can see it's heavily vegetated on top so there's no bare peat so there's no carbon escaping out of it. And you see they've, they've re-wetted a couple of bits of pools in here so you've got, you're storing the water, the water's sitting and gently seeping into the ground instead of a quick runoff which is what causes issues further down with flooding and that. So you want to slow the water runoff off the ground. My short time in Glenfallock is say 26 years. We're getting drier, warmer summers and then we're getting the deluges of rain in the middle of them drier summers. So, I mean, I don't think we can deny there's a climate change emergency. If we can all play a part, no matter how small it is, it benefits everybody in the future generations.